LucasArts has traditionally been a strong contender in the adventure gaming area. Full Throttle continues that trend, but differs from past games in several ways. The first thing you'll notice is that it isn't a humor game. While there are some very funny elements, the jokes aren't the focus of the story the way they were with Day of the Tentacle or Sam and Max. Another major difference between Full Throttle and previous adventure games is that Full Throttle is intended as a CD-ROM game. There may or may not be a floppy version following the initial CD release, but don't hold your breath. Thankfully, LucasArts appears to have realized that playing an adventure game without digitized speech these days is almost as appealing as watching a movie with subtitles. The setting of Full Throttle is a grim one. It is a dark and ominous future similar to that described in the Road Warrior movies and the popular Car Wars board game. Economic collapse has resulted in a shortage of resources. Predatory criminal gangs prowl the roadways, wreaking havoc and taking anything they can get their hands on. You control Ben Throttle, the leader of a motorcycle gang called the Polecats. Ben's been accused of the murder of the owner of a motorcycle manufacturing company. One look at that heroic jawline and you know he was framed. The object of the game is to keep Ben out of the hands of the authorities long enough to gather the evidence you'll need to clear his name. Another area where Full Throttle continues that trend is what LucasArts claims will be the most extensive compositing of traditional 2D animation with rendered 3D animation ever seen in a computer game. In this shot, Ben is a 2D cell-style animation, while the hovercraft was rendered using 3D Studio. Gameplay is another area where Full Throttle takes a new tack. While much of the game revolves around the inventory object puzzles traditional to adventure games, certain scenes have a slightly different flavor to enhance the movie-like atmosphere. Cutscenes are well integrated into the gameplay with dramatic use of camera angles. Note here, for example, the intricately drawn grimace of exertion we get from this close-up. Kind of draws you right into the story, doesn't it? Full Throttle's interface has been designed to emphasize the cinematic feel of the game. The screen isn't cluttered with an inventory bar. Instead, a simple mouse click brings up this nifty skull-shaped action toolbox. Anything you need Ben to do beyond simply walking around is controlled from here, and when you don't need it, the toolbox stays conveniently out of sight. LucasArts has to be commended for daring to be different here. When was the last time anyone released an adventure game that couldn't conveniently be pigeonholed into Tolkien fantasy, space opera, or humor? Full Throttle certainly isn't easy to classify, and when the game is released in late 94 or early 95, it is certain to be regarded as a milestone of the genre.